guys. Hi. This is Ben. <laughs> and I'm Rainy. <laughs> no, I, I meant to like, this is Ben. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to move my hand. And we are the Journals of Awakening. Welcome to the gosh darn show. Can we talk about who's Rainy for real this time? And I'm Rainy. That's Rainy. <laughs> it is. Anyway. Ben is going to do a comedy sketch for us today. Oh, yeah? Ben's put on the spot? Yes. Where's your mic? Anyway, I, uh, I walked into a bar one day, and uh, I'm just kidding. I've never been to a bar. Uh, <laughs> it was a bar mitzvah. Uh, yeah. But they had free drinks, right? And uh, I'm just kidding. I can't just pull it out of my badunk. I thought that was pretty funny. My badunk at them, my bamboozle. Did you get that first part from any from another comedian? No. No, really? that came directly out of my anus. See, that was funny. You could have gone somewhere with that if you had a punchline. <laughs> Boom! That's yeah. my punchline. <laughs> anyway, I get this mic, and it's like, a, it's like a magic wand almost. I hide my mouth, and you don't know if I'm you know, confident about my jokes or not. <laughs> so do you think they do that sometimes? Yeah. Really? Fuck yeah. I grew up watching comedy. I love it. Put yep. the mic back. I, I don't want the mic back. Would you like to be a comedian one day? No. But you just like to do it now? Do you like doing it now? No. But you watch comedians. I like the gratification. I like the acknowledgement. You don't have to hold that. Thank you. <laughs> I like uh, being told you're funny. You know, I like to compliment. I hate compliments, but I like being told I'm funny because I like being funny. I enjoy comedy very much. Say compliment. No. Com <laughs> compliment. <laughs> What? What's wrong with the way I say compliment? You didn't say it like that. Yeah, I did. You said it like you were going to say confidence, but you say compliment. <laughs> compliment! <laughs> That's what you said! <laughs> anyway, I don't even remember where my train went, because it's a chugga chugga in that way. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do you mean to do? <laughs> <laughs> Derailed! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want the attention. I saw uh, um, on... Um, my Flocks channel, I'm pretty sure. She has a stand-up comedian that she went and watched, like a minute clip of it. And I watched these two guys, these twins, telling jokes on a stage. And that looked cool. Because there was only, I don't know how many people are in her crowd behind her, but there couldn't have been more than 50 people. That I can do. But when it comes down to a stadium Kevin Hart status, no. Never want that. But I could do acting. Like Jim Carrey status. Say, I like know. I could do movies, but like stand-up. Oh, I that's... dropped a piece. Stand up stressful. You can't see it. You saw it. Um, Unless you, you know, you don't let it get to you. But that's hard sometimes. You can't always be on your A game. I try, you know. But you know, you're like really antisocial, right? Very. However, we live in a place that does adult plays. What? We live in a place. Oh God! That does oh. adult plays. I forgot they even did that. <laughs> they do that. That'd be awkward. A bunch of locals. That's not awkward. That's expanding your circle to people that you actually care about and not just who you think you belong to. I let people come to me. Well, you don't go out. Nobody's going to come to you. Well, that's what the internet does. Yeah, I'm talking about, like, it'd be really cool to see you on a stage. I think one day, bucket list. You know, but not... You have to, like, have practice. Not career. Just bucket list. Well, yeah, that's why we live in a place. That has a like, see, I'd rather go to the nearby city, like I told you, and, and hit that comedy club where nobody in there will know me. And there is yeah, no more than 50 people. Yeah, but that's comedy, and you just said that you'd honestly so what prefer you talking to act. Oh, you're talking about some stage work. Yes. Oh, no, I just play didn't put two and two together. Yeah, being a Here's play. Here's the thing. Bunch of kids. When Connor's in kindergarten, he will be, I, would, I want him, not only will he be at school till three, I want him to go to art afterwards. At the art place. <clears throat> so imagine if you were the one that dropped him off. You would like slowly make conversation and you know you'd get to know people. Give him drum rolls it. every time I say something. <clears throat> you know, just, uh, <laughs> you know, it, I, I feel like, I mean, I love the people there, you know, and it's. It's a hippie vibe. Yeah. Just so everybody knows. It's a hippie vibe. Exactly, and the people there have been local since you were local. I don't know if local. they can handle my kind of comedy, though. No, I'm not talking about comedy, I'm talking about acting. <laughs> I know, but my personality's gonna come out regardless. And that's why it comes out in a character that you're already given a backstory. 
Oh, that's to fair, do. right? Yeah. But the thing <laughs> you is, grew up in a shed loving taters. The whole, no the whole place there mm. is run by people that have always ran it. You know, it's not a bunch of miners. You know, it's not yeah, a yeah, bunch yeah, of yeah, wannabe yeah. locals. I yeah, see, that's just it, guys. I got the stage fright. I do. I'm scared of the the stage. Um, no, I'm not though. The, I was gonna say you have uh, anticipation fright. You don't like being anticipated to be on stage. There you go. But if someone threw you up on stage, you could do it, like beautifully. I think so. A few drinks. <laughs> I think that would help for the first comedy. And up. see, I had. I'm just gonna peel the whole Loosen thing apart. Loosen me up, you know. I um. Yeah, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick at this. Okay. I've got like five pieces. Um, I would like to work with animals that That's right. are wild. However, I mean, I was thinking zoo, but the only way to work at a zoo is to move to a place that has one. Okay. You know, and that sounds... So you could work at the nature conservatory. That's what I'm thinking. Like, mm -hmm. what if I worked locally with local wild animals? Of course I want to study the jaguar. I could see him one day. El Jefe. You know, he's the local jaguar that roams the Wachukas or whatever. What jaguar? That way. Like an hour and a half. a jaguar? Yeah. I know we have mountain lions. I didn't know we had a jaguar. Yeah, like uh, his name is El Jefe. He's a name? Yeah, he lives in Cochise County, Arizona. We don't live there. So Whose pet is he? No, he, he's just a jaguar that's been being tracked for like 15 years. Why does he have a name? Because he's like the one they always see. They governorized the freaking wild jaguar? The <laughs> point a is, name? It does think, it have a social? I think it would be so cool to like do that. Like I want to experience like like javelina restoration or <laughs> restoration. <laughs> I'm gonna rebuild this javelina, <laughs> top to bottom. <laughs> like rehab, javelina. Re okay, uh, I rehabilitate. Want, yeah. I just I think maybe all I want is adventure, and I just need to get involved. You know, maybe I should. Maybe I should do things like... You, you just did. You took an hour to hike. Yeah, but that was with a friend and that was hiking. I'm talking about like, what if instead of going hiking with a friend, I go take that three hours and go to like the local seed places or the local wildlife places, you know? Place that is working to get the mine out of here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the local place, you know, and it's... I didn't know that. We have a group of people trying to get the mine out of yes, here. Yes, that's where the bumper stickers come from. Oh, but I don't join organizations. Yeah, but I think it'd be cool if I did. I'm not talking about you. Okay, I'm just saying go we for it. We moved on what? from you. I don't drink the Kool-Aid. You know? It's not Kool-Aid. Yeah. If It's it's a Me Too thing. No, it's not. If you want to do something, do it. You don't have to sign the Me Too paper. That's not what it is. Okay. Listen. I don't listen well. You previously like to consider yourself an anarchist now you consider yourself more like a free spirit full labels i don't consider myself anything i'm a human whatever but <laughs> you would like to live in a commune right like a little community that took care of each other and blah 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 blah. a village yeah yeah they're gonna have little groups like that this isn't the fucking 1500s well it needs to be it's no it's modern get day. back to the basics people it's it's ran this place is ran by locals it's very non-profit you know it's they work off of people from town's donations like it's not anything that's ran by anyone else except for locals they work off donations yeah they don't earn money no well that's a problem no i'm not talking as a job i'm talking <laughs> as something to do no i'm not talking about as a job i'm talking that they're running a funky organization if they're just taking handouts yeah and then they're putting it saving towards... it for a good cause what, they, have, what have they done they've gone to like all the protests for the border wall, they... Protests don't do anything. No, but they do other things. It's research. It's... Hmm. It's... It's called... Uh, a hustle? No. Not everybody's out to I make support, money out I of support nothing. I support saving the earth. But, you know, I, like I said, I just... Not everybody not is pocketing anymore. dirty. Not everyone's dirty. Everyone. No. Has to make a living. No. Not yeah. like... Yeah, I know that. But it's that's just not how it works, and you have trust issues. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't trust anybody. <laughs> I know. You're like an organization. How many people are there? Ten. Oh, they're up to something. Corporate. <laughs> <laughs> that's like working for the railroads. <laughs> that's how you act. <laughs> that's a union there. <laughs> 
That's literally how you feel. I, I think. I, I'm know, extreme, like, guys. I'm really extreme, and I can't help it. I just. I'm extreme. Well, extreme. <laughs> Sorry, I spit a little bit. Understand that I'm not. Oh, I know. Okay. You are beautiful, though. <laughs> there's this tiktok girl on a side note okay of her relationship with her like girlfriend but the girlfriend or the the girl that makes it is a content creator mm -hmm. and so she has the girlfriend like take pictures with her like i do with you sometimes you yeah. know but it'll be like a video so she takes a full video or like a moving picture <laughs> And then they take the picture, and the girlfriend goes off, like all mad. And then, <laughs> but she's like obviously like like a, like mean about it, you know, like. But like, trying to look good in the picture still. Yeah, like. Oh, okay. And so it's like sad. I was just saying. You don't do that. I know. No, I was just saying. I don't no, do no, that. No, I just say like she's like come take a picture with me, and then like the girlfriend's like actually a dick. I hate taking pictures. I know. Yeah, I, I hate it. I don't like taking pictures. I hate it every time you say it. Come take a picture with me. I'm not gonna lie, I hate it. I but I smile. <laughs> I've always known he hates taking pictures. This is a new, except the MGK one. He was like, "All right, let's take a picture." <laughs> Core memories count. The worst is when you're taking pictures of me. That bothers I, me. I hate that. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, I just yeah. I, I love. I feel like I gotta. I gotta try. I like no, taking. I, I like. <laughs> A candid photos of me. Nobody right. ever yeah, takes yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. I have a few times. Actually, like, I went on a hike and she <laughs> took a couple of me climbing the bridge and I didn't know she did that and that made me feel good. You didn't ask her why she was looking at your ass? No, and it didn't look good either in the picture. Oh, no. <laughs> you checked. You're like, oh, she'll pull my pants up. It's obvious. <laughs> I didn't have to look. It was oh. obvious that it was like cringy. That's okay. But it was candid. It was off off the books. I didn't know she was taking them. It was mm -hmm. sick. Mm -hmm. So it made me feel good. But I do like being taken pictured of. <laughs> I don't like posing for a picture. I don't. Right, right, right. I I can pose for my own pictures. We'll get pictures of the stuff the guys really want. You doing dishes? Yeah. Vacuuming. It'd be mm. different if I posted that of you and you were doing dishes. <laughs> I do that every mm. night. <laughs> In my little ass sink with a hole in it. <laughs> I'm destroying this rock. People are going to hate me for it. It's also held up by four screws. We don't have any clamps for that. I'm guys. keeping the rock. I'm going to put all of these little pieces of the fake citrine in my candle. So they're... I would like them embedded in my They're forehead. going directly into witchcraft. Just put them right here. Spread them out in a nice pattern. And I'll just go... Wham! That would be hilarious. <laughs> Who did that? What rapper? Little Uzi Vert, I think. Was it Little yeah. Uzi Vert? And then I, he got it ripped no, out in the club. Oh, I'm glad man. we read the same thing. That's so funny, dude. Don't put a million dollar diamond in your fucking skull. That's the dumbest shit you can do in the world. Now, what, have you seen his face? Even... No. He's a big old fucking crater in the middle of his head now from his diamond hole. Yeah, it's it's pretty funky. <laughs> what did we even talk about in this podcast? Like, this one was about uh, my my future future plans. aspirations. Yeah, future aspirations for both of us. Ideas and, on future aspirations. And uh, that was it. On that note. On that note, we thank you. Peace. Peace.